you don't know about Donald Trump. I mean, everyone knows him all around the world because he was the weirdest, eccentric, and irritating president USA ever had. Well, as we all know that lately he has been the hot topic of the media, and his last four years as a president have been a wild roller coaster ride. So in today's video, we will discuss all top 10 Donald Trump moments that the news missed. Number 10, handshake that turned into holding hands. During the annual Bastille Day military parade in Paris that was held on July 14, 2017, French President Emmanuel Macron had a dumbest moment with former president of the US, Donald Trump. They shared a 29 second handshake. Well, that was extended farewell handshake before Trump and his wife Melania departed Paris on Friday. That farewell handshake lasted long enough for Macron that he attempted several times to pull away his hand. But who can make it understand to Trump that someone isn't comfortable with your lovey-dovey handshakes? You know what, guys? His handshake insinuated as if he was holding the hands of his beloved, even though he held his hand while giving a hug to French First Lady Bridget Macron. I don't know why this guy is so obsessed with hands. Number 9. Trump pushed past his fellow world leader. Well, once during a tour of NATO's new headquarters that was held on Thursday, 25th, May 2017, Donald Trump, being a president of the United States, during that time did something embarrassing and weird to even discuss. He somehow appeared in front of the world stage in Brussels, among all the world leaders, by pushing himself and shoving past Dusko Markovic, who was the prime minister of Montenegro at that time. I mean, if you can see in this clip, he was quite at the back of the group. You could even spot his head but he made his way. After pushing past Mr. Dusko Markovic and started giving a macho look by fixing his coat. I don't think that this guy has ever said excuse me in his whole life. Like, you can sense the insecurity and disrespect in him or you can say that he is so fond of himself. Well, I am not even from Montenegro, but still I feel offended by his behavior. Number 8 meeting Obama and Michelle at the White House. Well, once at Inauguration Day, when Donald Trump was elected as a president in 2017, he and his wife Melania Trump was invited by the former President Obama and former First Lady Michelle Obama at the White House for a traditional meeting with tea ahead of the inauguration. When they arrived, Mr. Obama and his wife Michelle were standing at the main door of the White House to welcome them. But as we already know, Donald Trump doesn't know how to treat his wife so he came forward to shake hands with Obama and Michelle, leaving his wife Melania behind. I mean, man, don't you have manners? Who is supposed to pull the door? Well, Melania has some courtesy and manners as she brought a gift for Michelle on their first meeting. I mean, learn Trump, learn. On the other hand, Obama grabbed the gift from his wife's hands as she was confused about where she should put it. What a caring gesture, honey. Hands down, Obama. Number 7. Donald Trump and his weird handshake During his time being a president, Donald Trump nominated Neil Gorsuch to fill the U.S. Supreme Court vacancy as a chief justice. He was selected for his firm, conservative views, and at the age of 49, he was the youngest nominee in 25 years, who could tip the court's balance on different issues like religious equality, abortion, and voting. When Neil Gorsuch was asked to come in front of the Rostrum after being selected as a Supreme Court Justice, he didn't know that Trump could be much happier than him, as he started shaking hands with him quite weirdly when Neil finished his speech. That wasn't a handshake for me, I guess, because he was pulling his hands backward and forward so badly that he was about to lose his balance. Well, God knows what made him shake hands like that. I mean, why, dude? I must say, Neil might be screaming in his heart and saying, for God's sake, leave my hand. Number 6. Catering a White House Dinner with Fast Food If you're President of the United States of America and you have to host a dinner, what would you prefer to do in the name of hospitality? Your first thought must be to provide quality food and different sorts of traditional dishes, right? But do you know what Donald Trump did? He served them a fast food feast worth $5,500, piled high on silver platters in the East Room to the national champion, Clemson Tigers football team at the White House on 4th of March, 2019. He ordered fast food from Wendy's, Burger King, and McDonald's. And on the other hand, Domino's Pizza was also served to them 
even the french fries were laid out in official presidential paper cups. I mean, wait, is that a traditional way to host your guests in the White House? What a typical American Donald Trump is. Number five, toilet paper stuck under Trump's shoe. When once Donald Trump had to fly to a rally in Rochester, Minnesota, he got out of his black shiny limo and started climbing on the stairs of Air Force One in Minneapolis. A white paper was seen stuck to his left shoe, and it was totally flapping as it was Trump's new style. By the way, when he turned back to wave, and just as he boarded inside the plane, the toilet paper fell off. After some minutes, a congressional candidate traveling with Donald Trump picked that paper up. After seeing this moment, the social media went bonkers. People started tweeting like, that's not toilet paper, it's the Constitution. I can't stop laughing after hearing this. My jaws might start hurting. My question is, why the people with him in suits didn't tell him? Did they want him to feel embarrassed in front of the media? Well, the guy who picked up the paper claimed that it wasn't toilet paper. It was a small, squarish, moist, wet piece of paper. Ah, you mean in other words, toilet paper, right, my boy? Number four, throwing toilet rolls to hurricane survivors. Once on October 3rd, 2017, when the former U.S. President Donald Trump and First Lady Melania Trump visited a disaster relief distribution center at Calvary Chapel outside San Juan, Puerto Rico. Do you know what motivational and caring thing he did? He threw paper towels into the crowd to show his care. Yes, you heard it right. That was their first visit to the U.S. territory since it was struck by a Category 4 hurricane. People over there were living without electricity, communications, and access to clean drinking water and food. But instead of solving all this and listening to their queries, he threw toilet rolls to show his care. I mean, what did he want to show? Look, your homes are flooded. Clean it up with these. Seriously? Or I'm a football player. Here, my t-shirt. Catch it. Who does that? From which planet he has come from? I would really suggest to him to get some tiny hands behind his back to get a pat for this because, holy swear, I can't. Number three. 19-second handshake with Japanese Prime Minister. On February 10, 2017, in Washington, the ex-president of the U.S., Donald Trump, invited Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe for a news conference at the White House, and he didn't miss the chance to spew his nonsense. When the media journalists asked them to shake hands for the media's footage, Trump took it so seriously as he shook hands with Shinzo Abe for more than 19 seconds. Trump's grip was so hard that his body balance was about to lose, and he started inclined towards Trump's side. After all, one of the journalists said, thank you, President, just to give him a notion that leave his hand, man. When he left the hand, the Japanese prime minister's reaction said it all. He must be thanking that journalist lady in his heart. I don't know why he kept yanking and tapping his hand. I mean, is this a new culture I'm not aware of? And now let us move on to our subscriber pick of the day. This image was sent to us by a subscriber. Similarly, if you ever wish to know more about an image you come across, just send it to us. Who knows, we might even feature it in one of our videos. Number two, the subscriber's pick. In the subscriber picture of the day, you can see that Donald Trump tried to hold Melania Trump's hand, but it seems that she wasn't in a mood. Melania went to the first international trip with the 45th president of the USA and we have witnessed some weird incidents of attempting and refusing to hold hands. We can imagine that the relationship isn't going great between them. Maybe this is all because he cheated on her when she was pregnant with their son, Barron. Social media may have missed so much news related to Donald Trump, but this news of swatting hands was a hot topic of that time. But people had started trolling or showing their concerns on Twitter about these incidents. Number one, Trump's struggles to drink water. Most people were quite obsessed with ex-president Donald Trump's weird way of drinking water. In fact, people have compared Trump's two-handed sipping method to that of a small child. Well, who knew drinking water could be that complicated? On 15 November, 2017, after coming back from his recent trip to Asia, he was discussing his trip and he had an awkward water bottle moment. He took a break in the middle of his talk to get a water bottle. Okay, yeah, right? Wait a minute, isn't he the same guy who made fun of the 2016 presidential candidate Senator Marco Rubio's water breaks? What a hypocrisy! And don't forget to watch him drinking. 